Hi, today we're going to be tying the brassy. This quick tie only uses three materials. So grab your 140 olive thread, your copper wire, and then grab your peacock hurl. If you need to pause to get these, go ahead and do that. Once you're ready, let's get our hook, the barb, pinched on our hook and firmly placed in our vise. Like that, and once it's here, we're going to then uh, tie on with our thread. Just do a couple wraps to the right again, and then we'll go back. I'm going to wind all the way down, just past the bend of the hook, and then all the way back to the front. While we're there, we're not quite all the way, but hook, uh, hook eye back, clip off your tag end, grab your wire. We're going to take about six, seven inches of this. There's probably more than you need, but as you wrap and you get closer to the end, you'll see that it's good to have a little bit more than not. You never want to use the tips of your scissors. Go all the way to the back end because the tips need to be sharp at all times. Just a little way to keep your scissors always sharp. And we're going to tie that wire in. We're going to lay it right on the top. And do the best you can. To get it tied in. All right, I'm going to try to lay it down the top of the shank. The thread torque is going to bring it over to the side opposite us, and that's okay. That's kind of where you want your wire to begin. So I'm going to wrap that down and then bring the thread back to the front toward the front of the hook, or where it was. I always lower my bobbin to get it out of the way. Which of these is not a trout? Steelhead, rainbow, cutthroat, or burbot? Pause now until you decide together on an answer. The correct answer is burbot. The burbot is actually a cod. Now we're going to wrap this copper wire one time around the back all the way around. And lay the next piece right next to it. These are touching wraps. If you angle your wire back toward the bend of the hook, it'll make sure that that wire completely lays right next to the previous wrap. I'm going to speed it up here. You don't have to watch me wrap the entire thing in normal motion. Uh, so we'll do fast motion here. Get to the front. Once we get to the front where our thread is, you see, we're just going to swap places with the wire and with the thread. We do that, run our thread over the top, and now it's secure. We're going to wrap that down three or four times to make sure that it's nice and tight on there. And then we're going to come in and we're going to helicopter the wire off. So put your finger on the opposite side to hold it and then helicopter it. Now you can make the helicopter noise if you want, and I highly suggest it. I'm just not very good at it. So once that's off, we're going to take a one piece of peacock hurl. So find the, the prettiest one you can find. You want nice, thick, long, uh, luminescent barbs on it. That looks pretty good. Once you find one you like, look for the thickest part of the, uh, the barbs as they come off. And once you find that, lay it right down on top of your hook. You want to make sure you have enough uh, as we wrap forward, but this is a pretty small quick wrap so you don't need a whole lot but just secure that down and bring the thread back to the very front after you clip this off all right all right pause here and talk about the question you decided on remember to be attentive as you listen and honest as you answer take your time and then continue when you're finished move your thread to the front there you go and then make sure you're bobbin is down like this and then just go ahead and wrap that hurl around now you there, these are touching wraps to move to the front but if you overlap that's okay you just want to kind of build a nice big um, abdomen on this fly once you get it where you want you're going to swap places again with the thread and wrap it over the top like that we're going to come in cut the rest of that hurl off you can save that if you want, use it for the next one. Wrap a few more 
wraps to get it tight. I'm going to come in with our uh, instrument of torture, or you can use a half hitch if you want. I like to use the instrument of torture because it kind of tightens everything up, makes it a little more secure. You get in there, three or four turns. There we go. Then we're going to clip this off. And you can clean it up if you want. I try to here, but I left, looks like I've left a few little nose hairs. That's okay. We're going to come in now with our bodkin filled with head cement. Lay it right on there. You see it absorbs right in. And that's pretty much it. This is called the Brassy. There it is. Thanks for watching.